this is a very uh, common question, and I really think that if you have um, low testosterone, you should at least consider this before you decide to go on treatment, because it is a commitment to get on, on a treatment that will shut down your own production. And, um, and eventually, if you do want to stop it, it will take a while for you to, to, to come back to that baseline. But the first uh, important factor, or the most important one, is the sleep quality and hygiene. And um, uh, we all know that we're sleeping less. We are using um, electronics like reading our uh, emails in bed. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm one of them too, <laughs> trying to really fight that bad habit because um, it really affects uh, not only the production of melatonin and all the other hormones that are, that are produced through the, our circadian rhythm at night. And obviously young men are using a lot, of, uh, a lot of electronics, playing games or watching TV from bed and the exposure of that light uh, late at night um, it's really affecting their hormones. So if you try to sleep uh, at least seven hours uh, a night, um, get uh, darkness, I'll, be, I'll speak a little bit about sleep, believe it or not, because I really believe this is one of the main reasons we're seeing so many young men um, having low testosterone, which, uh, which is pretty uh, surprising. Weight loss also, uh, if you're overweight, um, you, your testosterone may be down by 100 to 150 points uh, nanograms. So weight loss is another way to increase testosterone if you are overweight. Uh, avoiding environmental toxins, and that's, as we know, it's very difficult to do in this, in this world, but at least avoiding um, um, exposure of food to plastics, especially heating plastics in food like plastic containers. Um, I'll be speaking a little bit about these toxins too that we have all over, all over, um, and they're actually becoming more persistent in our world. Uh, if you have problems with uh, glucose control, diabetes or, or high glucose, you will tend to have lower testosterone. So, um, so that's another, an exercise can actually improve glucose control and also improve um, obviously body composition. Exercise actually helps too, but overtraining or overexercising may actually decrease testosterone. So you have to be careful about that too. And a very important note, there's not an effective over-the-counter testosterone booster. It's a multi-million uh, industry. People are wasting a lot of their money on um, these boosters um, in different, you know, obviously over-the-counter and Amazon. And believe it or not, some of them have been found to have um, Viagra or Cialis, um, and, and, and men tend to feel like, oh, okay, it's working because I have more, uh, my erectile function is better. But uh, the fact is that the FDA catches um, companies every week. You can go to the FDA.gov site and search for um, testosterone uh, supplements that are are basically shut down by the FDA uh, when they do uh, testing, which is rare because the supplement company is not regulated by the FDA and uh, they don't, do not have to submit quality control or ingredient uh, testing to, to the FDA, unlike uh, 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 drugs uh, and medications. So I'm bringing up sleep again, because sleep I really think is where uh, we can do our best to increase um, testosterone, not only testosterone, really everything, growth hormone, um, uh, you know, even thyroid um, function, everything is tied to sleep. And um, there are things that are good and things that keeps you awake. Anything that <clears throat> when you go to bed, try to go to bed at the same time every day, don't watch TV before bed, stay hydrated, uh, try to relax uh, and not, you know, get on the phone and have an argument before going to bed. Uh, spend time in, a, in the daylight when you wake up and in the morning, try to get some sun at least in your face. Um, read a book, not, don't read a book from, uh, from um, uh, you know, from your phone or from your iPad. Have a light dinner, uh, not too late. And don't do the things below. Don't go to bed and get up at the same time every day. Don't watch TV before bed, stay hydrated, et cetera, et cetera. So have, try to at least follow the one tip, which is do not bring electronics to bed and do not expose your eyes to light before 11, uh, after 11, um, 10.30 to 11 p.m. and try to go to bed at the same time and get up at the same time. 
but that's obviously easier said than done in today's world. And there are endocrine disruptors, um, pollutants and toxins that are affecting uh, hormone levels, uh, increasing uh, estrogens and decreasing testosterone in, in males um, in particular. And they're everywhere, flame retardants, they're in, you know, obviously um, emissions from, from refineries, uh, phytoestrogens that we even soy um, products have been linked to that, uh, hydrocarbons, pesticides, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that's something else that um, we need to be aware of.